let's make some giant light up candy cane poles. Hi everybody, today we're gonna to be building six foot candy cane poles, taller than we are. What? I thought you said three feet tall. Well, we might build it a little bit bigger than we discussed, but it'll be fine. You trick me again, Andy. It's gonna be fine, don't worry. We just need to build two of them that are six feet tall. Okay. So we're gonna build the candy cane poles by 3D printing them. So obviously we can't print it all in one piece because it's gonna to be too big for any 3D printer really print it out in sections, and then build it in sections so that we can put it all back together. Hopefully we can hide all the seams so that you don't really see it too much. So this is gonna be a spiral candy cane pole so that each section as it spirals up is gonna be walled off and separated from each other section. So when we put the LEDs on the inside, it's gonna get diffused, but it won't cross across each of the boundaries. So it'll be discrete kind of sections for each spiral. So we can get really clean red, whites, or you know different colors that we wanna do. So first what we need to do is we need to go to the computer, design it out, break it up, figure out how big we can print each section, and then uh, we'll see if we can put it all together. So shall we go and uh, design it in the computer? Yeah. Okay. Let's go! Let's go! So here we are in Fusion 360. We have a sketch created for the profile that will spiral up in two discrete sections. They intertwine with each other to create a continuous spiral. We've measured the max height of our 3D printer and designed a single section to fit within the print volume. The trick was finding a way to divide the spiral so that it could be printed in sections yet fit back together to look like a continuous spiral. We ended up creating a seam along the concave ridge of the spiral to hide the joints. In the end, one pole would be made up of 10 sections combined together like a 3D puzzle to create the full height needed, which is 6 feet 4 inches high. We designed the front of the spiral to be a thin outer shell so the light gets diffused and transmitted evenly for each spiral section. On the back we have a slot cut out that allows us to attach a support EMT pipe and large holes for the LED puck lights to fit. Here we have a custom modeled support for the bottom of the spiral shape so that it can be held solid while printing yet easily detached afterwards. We also designed the support to use as little filament as possible to save on print times and costs. These LEDs are 30 millimeter wide and 12 volts. Each light has three RGB pixels with a total of nine LED channels. The holes were sized so that they snap right in the back easily. For each pixel pole, we ended up with 37 pixels per pole. We then 3D printed each section with a large 0.8 millimeter nozzle to speed up print times, which still took around four hours each for a total of 40 hours per candy cane pole. Okay, so after many hours of 3D printing, we have all of our pieces. So each of these pieces we need to try to put, put back together. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue them and hide the seam here. So what we're going to do is first we're going to sand these so that we rough them up a little bit so that the glue is going to kind of hold better. So let's go outside and we'll sand these a little bit first and then we'll come back and glue them. We sanded each section to ensure a nice tight fit when we go to glue them back together. We also lightly sanded the fronts to remove any irregular areas. Okay, so now that we've finished sanding all these, we're ready to put them all together now. So um, we're going to start with this piece here. This is going to be the bottom piece, and then we're going to start to just build build on top of here gluing each section together now so um, so yeah we're gonna fit them together like this and we've left a little section here on the back so that we can have a little pole that will hold them together better as well too and then this is and then through here is where all the LEDs are gonna fit in so that um, they can we will have two LEDs kind of large LEDs that will light up a whole section of a spiral so each spiral will have two LEDs so that we get enough brightness and then they're also going to be separated from each other so that we get clean kind of colors and diffusion so let's go ahead and start gluing them together now.
Let's see how tall this puppy is. Not too bad. It's a little bit taller than we are, but it looks pretty good. All right, now we just gotta do a few other things. Okay, so now we've printed these supports on the back. So we're gonna glue these supports to the back here in the middle so that we can run an EMT pipe, a small EMT pipe up and down here just to give it a little bit more rigidity and then we can also use that to attach it to the house. We can just clip it to the house. Before adding the lights we sprayed on a few layers of clear coat to give them extra UV protection and also to improve the visual look giving them a nice glossy finish. the whole thing now so it gives a little bit of extra UV protection and protection against the weather while it's outside. We also attach our EMT pipe to the back so it gives it a little bit more rigidity. It's, it now goes through those clips that we have on there. We also got all the LED lights in here so maybe we should just try to plug this in and see, see if it works. Huh? You, let's hold on to it here and let's see. Oh, it works! <laughs> nice, not too bad. Right now, we just have it on our multicolored setup. We can change it to different colors. We can change it to red and white for candy cane colors, or keep it on these colors. We can do different things as they go up and down. This is just our test sequence right here now. Um, but it's working, and is, how does it taste? <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! Okay, cotton candy. Bye. Bye.